Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tanuki Token. I'm Lucas. I'm Scott. And we're back. And I'm Brennan. Back we're to back. being interrupted nope. by Lucas yep. before I even had a chance yep. to talk. But here's the thing. We're you at get to be the Devo. The Devo. Wow. So One hell of a time. Lucas, don't. I wouldn't necessarily say rush through this because there will be an important choice. And right now, there is a right answer. Uh oh. So, <laughs> should, I, should, so should I read it? If you choose. Go ahead. Well, well, well. Look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey, King Dice, but I see you've got my soul contracts as agreed. Hand them over and join my team. Okay, Lucas. No, fuck you. You chose the wrong answer. <laughs> well, shame on me, just don't like all the others, eh? I'll teach you for backing out of a deal. How about you? Lucas, that was the wrong choice. Good. Because there's a bad ending. <laughs> Good. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll show that off he later. He just picked the, he picked the right <laughs> choice. He picked the right choice because uh, we could have joined his side. <laughs> well, we'll show too it. Late. I guess we'll show it off later. That was the wrong choice, Lucas. You I failed didn't me. No. <laughs> you failed me. <laughs> Series over. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. We're That's over. it. We're done. <laughs> so, I wonder if they fixed the glitch with this fight. Hopefully. Because, <laughs> Lucas, do you know no. about? No. Okay, Why would I know? <laughs> okay, there's a certain attack that goes all the way to the, either to all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The hitbox just goes farther than what it normally does when it goes from the right to mm -hmm. the left. Like, I hope... Yeah, the, I think it was the left side. It's this attack right here. Yeah, because there's a little... Because then there's also... Okay, they fixed it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> because before, you could be all the way to the left, and it will still somehow hit you. Oh, okay. I didn't know what he was doing. Ah. There it is, the end of the old life uh -oh. makes reality uh -oh. glasses. <laughs> oh, only f I, that was slightly higher. Wow, hey. $500. For <laughs> I like how he's running in place. He's like, not a terrible deal. <laughs> he's not getting anywhere. You broke our deal, now it's my turn to break you. So, you. Before that, sorry, I thought these are the glasses I was talking about. Oh, oh those are kind of neat. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll flash, because I'm going to read the other part of picture. Well, yeah, Scott put up a picture before I even start reading it. Um, so, they're called the Unreal Light Mixed Reality Glasses. And this is actually something I've been very interested in for at least a year. Because I've been um, interested in it for quite a while because I remember uh, Niantic saying that they wanted to do something like that for Pokemon Go. Yeah, and I, I think mean, that'd the, be pretty the cool. tech. The problem is the tech has only really been here in this in the format that they're they're showing with these AR glasses, because we've seen AR glasses before. Yeah. And they look terrible. No. Yeah. And I remember a year ago, I heard from Tested, I saw that there was. <laughs> well, okay. There was. Mm, maybe I should wait this out. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, that will kill you. Yeah, that will kill you if you wait too long. So, cool. Now he's a cyclops, and now he's not. About about a year ago, there was these. They they had released information on these glasses that were just about to be put into full production, but were canceled because. Yay! Uh, I forget who was making them, but they basically canceled them because they just had no uh, faith in the project. Uh, okay. The 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 actual glasses themselves were basically ready to be put into full production. There's just a few things they needed to iron out. But they couldn't do it in Great. the time allotted, <laughs> and they just lost faith in the project. Mm -hmm. But they were really cool, and I really would have loved it. The problem is, I could see some problems early on, like the fact that it shot lasers in your eyes. Yep. <laughs> display the images. I remember you telling me about that. I remember making a lot of jokes. It, yeah. Literally, it shot infrared lasers into your eyes. Um, I want to say this does Great something design. similar. It just doesn't do it completely. But they canceled it. These are these are just now starting. In, in fact, these are going into production very soon. They're actually going to start releasing a developer kit in late 2019. So these are actually coming out, which is awesome. I would love a pair, but they're like 500 bucks. <laughs> like I could get a decent VR headset for that much. <laughs> these would be like walking around stuff. I mean. I mean, the technology is not there for general use. If it's well supported by a lot of, you know, apps and stuff, then it might be worth getting into. But at first, it might not be yeah. supported by very much, so it might not be worth it immediately. Spooter! Yeah, I forgot about 
Uh, uh, they, they did say that if $500 is for, like, the development kit. Yeah. For early on, that they do want to reduce the price down to make it more uh, available Consumer to friendly. consumers. But <clears throat> so I'm going to read the article. So, many of us have Wee. had a chance to experience virtual reality now. Whether it's the larger VR systems that require a separate console or a simpler headset that only requires a smartphone, but they're not the only reality altering headsets in town. Mixed reality headsets offer a blend of virtual reality with augmented reality, layering virtual images over real life. Yep. The end real light is end real's attempt to bring the tech to the market. Pack in a small pack. Get away from the edge. Because <clears throat> the, yeah, the two well, on the sides will disappear. So, pack into a small package ah, is easier where you do. <laughs> Nreal has finally broken its silence and given okay. a launch date and price. The Nreal Lite part. will be available next year with prices for the consumer model starting at four ninety nine. So that is consumer model. Okay. But like what I said, that? they do consumer model four ninety nine. Yeah. So it's five hundred dollars for the consumer model. I think they said six hundred for the developer model, but that's really just first year. They're trying to get the product out. Yeah. And it, it really is like a. Um, a luxury item anyway so well, yeah I, I can see why it would be 500 and it's very very new technology yep. and, and very small technology it's always more expensive to make something on a really small scale and uh the thing is one they they'll have a uh, they'll have a prescription model so like scott you wear glasses yeah. and you you need glasses i need glasses to see far distances so and well actually then you probably wouldn't have a problem with this but uh, for people that need glasses just for just to see normally, there will be an attachment that that you can get with your uh, lenses to snap into the into the actual headset okay. that will allow you to see perfectly fine. So you can get them in your own prescription. Huh. So you anyway, over explained that. All you would have had to like say the with that the prescription. You're not expecting to wear them all the time. Instead, end real, end real light will be a gadget you wear for specific experiences, much like the Magic Leap One or the micro, Microsoft HoloLens Two. Unlike those previous two examples, however, this one's actually coming out. <laughs> end real <laughs> emphasis is on creating a compact, lighter headset. No, those two are out. You can get the Magic Leap. I, I've Let seen the micro, Microsoft HoloLens, but they're gigantic. Yeah. Like for VR headset, like an AR headset, they're pretty big. This is like a very compact version. I know. Aw, oh, come on! Well, that said, they're still on the clunkier side for a pair of glasses. You'll definitely look a little silly while wearing them. Thankfully, this project, you. this is a pro uh, product you don't need to go outside to enjoy, though it's possible to use it with certain smartphones to enjoy content outdoor, outdoors. The glass is essentially in right it's connected with the puck, so it'll have this little puck that it's connected to. I'm glad they went like all out with this animation. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, these, these, these techniques uh, are hard to do. It has two cameras. So I'm not gonna read the full article because it's really long, but from what I've seen of the product is that it, it doesn't have its own battery pack in the glasses. Hmm. Which is what I'm thinking they did to really cut down on size is they made it have an external battery. Which could be a good move, could be a bad move. But what I uh, saw with the uh, the tested video is that they plug in directly to your smartphone. You, you can use your smartphone battery to actually power the glasses. Mm -hmm. Which, good idea in concept, maybe not in practice. Because it's just going to drain the crap out of your battery. Yeah, but you could always just get, you know, like a power bank or something. That, yeah. <clears throat> like, I have a couple. Because I know uh, the developer kit actually does come with its, with a kind of controller apparatus thing. It, it's, that's what they were describing with the puck. But I think the consumer kit actually doesn't in that you control the glasses with your phone directly. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to see where this technology is going. Yeah, it'll be neat. It's got a lot of practical business application too. And you know, there are there are, you know, consumer model AR right. glasses that you can get right now. These are just the most compact. That I know of. Sadly, we are broke 
pretty much 90% of the time, so we don't really have the money to buy some of these products. Or any of them. But they're cool. <laughs> but, but they're cool. They are cool. And it makes us sad when we can't have cool things. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What other stuff do we have? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to play the game. <laughs> I'm just trying to come up with interesting things to talk about. Do it. Reddit, help! That's not helping! First thing is, is all your base are belong to us. Yes. Thanks, Only it's Apple be like, all your money are belong to us. Thank you! That, that That's helpful. Much help. Stop Thanks. eating babies? What? No. <laughs> what? I think what you need you to get off at? Reddit. <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, yeah. How about that? That's my response. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how about no? So why was Keanu Reeves at E3? Oh wait, uh, he's in Cyberpunk. That's right. Yep. Yeah, he's in Cyberpunk. Keanu Reeves, god damn Reddit blew up for a week on that crap. <clears throat> like it got to the point where I was a little tired of seeing Keanu Reeves' face. Although it didn't help that I was kind of trolling Keanu Reeves. <laughs> so. Keanu Reeves was in a movie in, in like 1993 called Freaked. Well, we he wasn't credited and he played a character named Dog Boy, which is a, a guy who was genetically spiced with a dog. Spiced? He was yes. genetically spiced. He's a spice girl. <laughs> yes. He's Jack Spicer. Oh yeah, Amazon's moving to, what was it, Seattle? It was, no, it wasn't Seattle. It was, uh, where was it? They're moving closer. Okay, you can, you know, look it up. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know where else to, what else Might to say about Bellevue, that. I'm not sure. I don't really care that much. Okay. Well, then End why of... bring it up? <laughs> <laughs> End of conversation, I guess. It is, because I don't really know where to go with that, because it doesn't really affect us at all. We could get an Amazon fulfillment UK's center. government porn <laughs> block is a privacy disaster. What the hell? Okay. Wow. Uh, Why Turing machines cannot pass a Turing test? Well! Um... I'm, I'm honestly just trying to find topics to talk about that aren't political. Uh, I can't wait for My Hero Season 4. Yeah, that'll be cool. That's something Not I have hard. nothing to say on because I haven't gotten, I haven't really watched My Hero that much. Have you, you haven't finished Season 3? Uh, wherever I left off last time. I don't know what, uh, yeah, where that where is. Where did you leave off? <laughs> uh, I think he just, I think, uh, Deku just finished the training with Gran Serena, but I'm not sure. Oh. Isn't that season two? I think it is. Yeah, I'd... it's been a while since I watched it, but I'm gonna be rewatching it soon. So I, I will be too. Before. I will be too. I need to be ready. There's only a few shown in that I actually will enjoy, and like, I just kind of didn't latch onto my hero that much. I did to an extent, but like, I saw where it was going, and Come I was on. like, yeah. Thank sorry. you. I'm sorry. Oh no! See, I knew that's what was gonna happen. <laughs> I thought. And I had my special. I'm sorry. Oh, he's a baby now. Yes. Baby uh, Oh, come like on! Big. Yeah, so when those we chips are so fall. Close. When those chips fall, you have to go off the ledge and then dash back on the ledge. But when I did that, some blood tears I ran into. <laughs> Damn it! Still going. We're so close. We're getting there. We're almost done. I believe in you. That's why I'm looking up topics. You know what? That's probably for the better. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably why we're doing we're doing better. Yeah, we, we can focus on playing. <laughs> like I said, there's just not. I won't lie. A lot of this is just having to do with our president. And I don't really want to talk yeah, about that because it's just not really a good idea to talk about. Yeah, it's. Yeah, better that we don't. Because we literally just can't say anything without being wrong. Wrong. Jacques. <laughs> <gasps> Toy Story 4, the first Pixar movie in 23 years to debut, debut without an animation short. What? What? 
I no. thought you two would know about that. I riot. I <laughs> did not know about that. But these two, particularly these two, exactly these two, are like the guys that I know that know the most about this crap. It's more on Lucas, actually. But more on your yeah, mom. Well, well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more on my that mom. sounded like a joke, but it's not. No, it's not. I know. It just Scott's sounded like a joke. Scott's mom's house is decorated in Disney crap everywhere. We have a spare bedroom. That's the Disney room. We'll, we'll, yep. ta- we'll have Scott take a picture of no, the Donald. No, I of won't. the Donald. <laughs> no. It gives us all nightmares. <laughs> that was another family member that made that. Uh, I'm not gonna go. It's a, it's a little creepy. I'm not gonna that's go in. I'm not, I, that's all I'm gonna say. So, Toy Story 4 is the first Pixar movie in 23 years to de- debut without an animation short. Why? For more than two decades, Pixar movies have been shown uh, in theaters with a warm up act. Yeah. It began mm-hmm. when A Bug's Life was released in 1998, accompanied by. Jerry's game? Yeah, yeah it's, that's it's the, the chess game with the old guy. Who's where he's in which an old man plays chess against himself in a, against himself in a park. The five minute field pushed the boundary for, what, for CG animation and won an Academy Award and started the tradition of Pixar releasing all of its features with a short attached to attached. I'm disappointed in recent now, years, I look forward to those. Yeah, in recent mm-hmm. years, they have these have ranged from shockingly bad lava ahead of Inside Out to the breathtakingly cute uh, the like Lava was like a, was a reference to a specific guy who died like it was a tribute mm. so I mean okay well that doesn't really say anything about the quality though ahead of Finding Dory to the devastatingly moving bow I know too. Uh, I love that short even Coco was preceded by Olaf's Frozen Adventure though at 21 Interminable minutes, it did stretch the limits of the word short. Toy Story 4 will break with tradition by going without an animated short when it enters theaters June 21st. The representative or Disney confirmed to Slate that makes it the first Pixar movie without one since the original Toy Story in 1995, which was only paired with Tin, tin Toy another Oscar winner on its home video release, not in That's theaters. Well, I, w- I, I wouldn't that. be too alarmed by the admission, though Pixar continues to produce plenty of shorts, including through experimental programs like Spark Shorts, which early this year put out Kit Bull, a film very much in the studio's tradition of making our viewers ugly cry. As for Toy Story 4, you'll have to do... You'll have to munch your popcorn through the usual 20 odd minutes of trailers, commercial before the movie is set. So yeah, Toy Story 4 is not gonna have a short. I am disappointed now. I, yeah, I mean, what the hell, guys? We have grown up with this crap. Don't take it away now. There's- I almost wonder if they are like wanting to use that screen time for more of the movie. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, Olaf's Frozen Adventure seemed like it was pretty bloated, so they might just be like, okay. Uh, Brandon, do you want to look up how long Toy Story 4 is going to be? Like, the time? How long it's going to last? Uh, let me see. Uh, Toy Story 4 runtime. Yeah. That's what it is. Runtime. So every Wait, time what? I get into this, we get into this phase, and when I'm, I press and hold the attack button, All right, I don't so, attack oh my God, that, at first. It, it's not it overly again. long, but it is pretty damn long. How long is it? Uh, one hour and forty minutes. <laughs> like not overly long. We got like what mid-sized movie? That's. Uh, I think like stuff like Beauty and the Beast is is that long, isn't it? Or is I that even say, shorter? I want to say that one hour and forty minutes is a good, like mid size movie, not too short, not too long. It'll demand because you know diminishing returns and all this other crap. Yeah. Like, I don't know how good Toy Story Four is gonna be. I'm hearing good things, but I don't know. But not great things. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, actually. I heard once that it's like the best Toy Story, but I don't know. That's just from stuff from. We'll just have to see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna have to see it, cause like, 
It's a movie that does not need to exist. Oh, uh, yeah, New York Post. This is, what, this is what I was thinking. Review, Toy Story 4 is funny and moving, but it's a par Pixar. So it's not up to Pixar standards. Uh, I, take that what you will. Take it as you will. But, like, that tells me that the movie just, it, it's, it couldn't follow Toy Story 3. It's a movie that didn't need to exist. Much like the Black Dark Crystal game. Yep. I'm game not going to let that go! That was just so weird. Well, one thing I always look forward to, though, with new Pixar movies is just seeing how they push computer animation forward. I'm guessing that's they, what they the problem is. They always do a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly guessing that might be what the problem is. I, I'm, is no, that, I'm guessing didn't... the problem is just with elements of the story. Like, it's still a moving good story. It's just not as good as some of the best. Well, I'm bringing Keanu fun. Reeves is in it. Yeah, well, He's Keanu Reeves is going to be in a Marvel <laughs> movie soon, so. <laughs> That's not even a prediction. He's already on contract for it. Oh, really? Yeah, they got him. For what? Don't, I don't know yet. Uh, we don't know what phase four is. Well, until okay, Brandon, comes give out. us your comic knowledge. What do you think he'd be? What do you think would be fitting for him? Well, Doctor Strange is already taken. Dang it! That was perfectly timed. <laughs> that wasn't him saying, dang it, Keanu Reeves is the Doctor no, Strange. He's saying, dang, he How died. do you know, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, he might have been responding to both things at the same time. Um, I wasn't, but I could have been. <laughs> There are a few characters I could see that I think he'd be cool playing. As. I'd love to see him as Adam Warlock because I think he could do it. Oh, uh, the guy that was teased in Guardians Two. Yep. Yeah, I think he could do it. But like, he'd have to dye his hair. And... Okay, that's. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. They can yeah. change what the character looks like if they want to. They've done it before. Yeah. Uh, there, there's honestly not too many characters I can think of for Keanu Reeves playing. You just said he could play as a lot of characters, and now you're just like, here's <laughs> one character, I can't think of any others. Just not off the top of my head. Like, there's so... There, oh, Craven the Hunter might work, too. I could see that, actually. I, uh, yeah, like, Craven the Hunter, because John Wick. Like, mm. I'd, I'd honestly... That'd be yeah. interesting to see Craven. Like, cause like, that's I a Spider-Man villain, right? Yes. Yeah, but okay. he's crossed over with other people. I mean, Everyone, I, yeah. Has I was gonna over. say who hasn't crossed over at this point. Uh, they might have released information on him. Uh, yay! Double parry. Man, that's. What? Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I can see that too. What? They're saying he might play Namor. I don't know who that is. Namor is basically Marvel's Aquaman. Ew! Ew. <laughs> Wait, Ten who? times more edgy and extreme. Wait, is that the Submariner? Yep, Namor okay. the Submariner. Because uh, they, apparently they referenced uh, him in uh, Endgame. It wouldn't fit. Uh, Actually, yeah. there's people who are saying they want him to play Namor. There's people who are saying they want him to play Wolverine. He's too tall to be Wolverine. Yeah, Sorry. Wolverine's supposed to be short. We okay. gave it to Hugh Jackman because it was close enough, but like... But he's pretty short. Yeah, he's not... He's about average height. Keanu Reeves is a bit above average. So, it's a little too tall. I mean, they can change Wolverine if they want to, but I'd rather they didn't. I want him to be short. I and mean... It's funny. He's angry because he's small. <laughs> oh my god, there's people who want Daniel Radcliffe to play Wolverine, and I could <laughs> That'd see it. That'd be weird. I could see it, though. That's the thing. That'd be weird. Are you saying that that'd be weird because you watch Swiss Army Man? That and Harry Potter. This is weird. Yeah, like Namor, I could see it. Like if you get Danny DeVito to be Wolverine. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Under trash me. I'm a Wolverine. I got claws. <laughs> Ooh, no. Maybe even Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd see it. Yeah, I could see that too. He's tall and lanky looking. But now I want Danny DeVito to, <laughs> to be Wolverine. Okay, anytime you have a movie and then you're like, I wonder what Danny DeVito would be like in this role, you instantly just want Danny DeVito to yes. be in that role. Bro, it worked for Detective Pikachu. I know. It's not going to work for Wolverine. Why not? That would be hilarious. 
Yeah. 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 Be amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a few characters. Just put him in everything. Yeah, just Danny DeVito can be in everything. No, he would not work as Doctor Doom. That would be funny, like in a parody. But <laughs> no, he's no, he's not Doctor. No, he's not. The next phase of Marvel will just be every Marvel character is played by Danny DeVito or Keanu Reeves. <laughs> You can have one meme, Dang. or you can have the other. Can't have both. Why not both? Says you. We'll find a way. Yay! We, we did, did it! Because we kept pairing each other. Swing you center. I like that. God reference. damn it! And Lucas, you got the kill. I won. Yay! Yay! I beat the devil. Yeah! We beat. Well, you no. beat everyone. Wins. Not you, Brandon. You're not part. Yes. Of this. Hey, I've been carrying this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You've been carrying the conversation. You've been carrying shit. And What's wrong with you? I hit my spirit animal as a dung beetle. <laughs> Wash I your hands. It. No. <laughs> Proceeds to stick entire fist in mouth. Ew. Ew. Why would you do such a thing? Because I didn't wash my hands. Ew. <laughs> we beat Cuphead. Yay. Yay. The brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, devil. Cuphead laughed, but we're not done just yet. Nope. And with that, Cuphead and Mugman destroyed all of the soul contracts, releasing Inkwell Isle's residents from eternal servitude to the devil. We saved Except the for the world. ones that died. Yeah, there's like two <laughs> that actually died. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody, Cuphead said. The boys set off for home. Me and the at boys over here. Come on. I'm sending you that meme later, and you're inserting it here. Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gathered everyone together. You're all free of the devil's debt, Cuphead announced, and that fiend won't bother us again, Mugman added, until the sequel. <laughs> the elder cattle was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman. Let's See, look, uh, Goopy Regal. Yeah, he's, he's not, not there. there. Yeah, the Go Goopy's gone. Yeah, well, he's a ghost. I mean, yeah. you can't kill a ghost. They should have had Goopy's like. Tombstone in the background. That would be funny. I feel like there was. But we broke it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's someone else that's missing, but I can't think of it right now. And yeah. as an all-day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again, and they didn't until the next time, of course. That is but, another story. But that's the DLC, which still isn't here yet. Yay. And then the, the series, and, and then the game ends with them proclaiming, "Let's get fucking drunk!" Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to finish this this session. I didn't either. We didn't do too bad this time. Surprisingly. Yay! Credits. Oh. I know. So, uh, right, should right. we let these play? Does anything happen at the yeah, end? You can talk I for a little don't bit. remember I mean, if anything actually happens well, at the or, end. Or I, know there's a song. I know there's a I know there's going to be a song playing, so. Yeah. But we're going to talk over no matter what. Yeah. That's fine. Well, that's the thing is, we're... We're running out of time, so we might as well just end it here if there's nothing special. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, see you later, everybody. If I was Cuphead. If you want to hear the song, play the game yourself. Yeah. Go play the damn game. We're not your babysitters. I have the game. You have, you've only played, like, the first world, though. Shut up. I have other games to play.